YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Today, we are going to be working on the good old Road King. Daytona Beach is coming up and riding season in general is coming up. So you guys know what that means. We have to detail the bike. Um, so I got this bike last riding season, if you guys didn't know, um, and it didn't look like this. Um, it was very, very dirty. The guy kept it up under his carport. It looked like he hadn't rode the bike in about two to three, two to three years in my opinion. It had spider webs all over it, everything. So when I got the bike, I did do a detail to it, um, but I didn't do a full detail like a clay bar. Uh, just did a full wash, took care of the spokes a little bit. So today we're gonna to be doing a detailed detail on the bike. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys just some of the spots that I did not like about this bike or that I don't like about the bike. And hopefully we can take care of those today on the detail. So let me take you guys off of the tripod and show you guys some of the stuff that we're gonna be doing today. Stay tuned. All right, so let's talk about the detail that we're gonna be doing today. So I'm gonna be polishing all of the chrome on this bike um, especially these forks um, there's pitting on these forks um, and I've seen new bikes or people on YouTube say that um, they have received new forks and they have pitting on them so we're going to try to polish those up see if we can get them um, looking a little bit more better than that um, coming around to the tank um, another reason why I really want to clay bar this bike, it looks like some dirt and grime collected right here as the guy, um, like I said, he had this bike up under his carport, um, and a whole bunch of dirt and stuff. So, uh, we're going to see if we can get that out. Um, there's some stuff on the fender that I do not like dirt and grime back here up under this bib. So we're going to end up taking this off when we clay it, uh, probably when we wash it too, just take all of this off, especially the bag so we can get into the nitty gritty. Um, and try to get everything detailed and looking nice for this next ride season. Same thing on this side, um, dirt and grind back there. So yeah, uh, we're going to detail this thing today, see where this video takes us. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. So when I detail my stuff, I always like to start out on the wheels and work my way um, to the back, do the wheels as well. And then after that, I wash the bike. Um, so I have all of my stuff right here. I'm going to be using for the wheels, going to be using some chemical guys, wash and gloss, as well as some Diablo's wheel cleaner. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, get my bucket uh, ready to go. Uh, I'm going to take it in the house, actually. I was going to use the water outside, but it's pretty cold out today, and I don't want my hands to be even more cold as they are right now. So I'm going to fill up my bucket inside, get some hot water, and we're going to go ahead and get into this detail. Let's get it. All right, y'all, so we just finished the front wheel, moving on to the back wheel. Uh, I really dislike cleaning this part of the bike just because of the shocks, crash bar, the exhaust. It's just very hard to access this back wheel. So we're gonna try to get it as clean as possible. And then after that, of course, we're gonna move to um, doing the uh, detail of the bike. So getting it pressure washed down and really washing it up. So um, I'm gonna hit this back wheel and we'll move on from there. All 
All right, so we just finished up the front and back. So it's time to get into the nitty gritty of the wash. So we're gonna be using the Chemical Guys Clean Slate. Um, I got the whole kit, so I had a clay bar as well over there. Uh, so we're gonna start out with the Clean Slate. This is actually my first time using this product right here. It's supposed to get all of the waxes and everything off of the bike. So I'm gonna try this stuff out, fill up the bucket, get the pressure washer going and get into the nitty gritty of this wash. So let's go ahead and get into it. So now we're gonna go ahead and apply the clay bar lubricant, as well as I have my clay bar ready. And then I got the, um, they give you a lot of clay. Um, so I tore half of it off, put it in a plastic bag in case I drop this piece. Uh, so I have another piece, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys kind of the hot spots on the bike. So the spots that I showed you, so right here on the tank, we're gonna start out on the tank. Then we're gonna go to the fender. Uh, that I showed you guys in the last clip. And we're gonna kind of work our way around. I'm gonna do a time lapse. Uh, I'm not gonna show you guys the whole process uh, cause that'll be a long time lapse. Uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and get started now. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So yeah, this is my first time ever doing a clay bar. So I'm gonna make sure that um, everything is done right. Uh, I'm gonna put a lot of that lubricant on there to make sure I don't scratch anything up. But uh, let's go ahead and Knit our clay up now and see where this process takes as I'm excited about this. This is my first time doing it. So let's get this like that and hopefully we can get this spot out right here. That is the goal and get all of these imperfections out of this paint and then we're going to hit it with that wax and well I can't wait to ride season. I cannot wait. We got some more videos coming as well. Pops is actually out there in the trailer doing something to his bike as well so uh, we just, we're getting ready. We are getting ready and I'm doing a circular motion, which they told me not to do. Um, so let me stop doing that and go in a single direction. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> if that's coming out y'all I may have to hit it again uh, I don't know if that's gonna come out hopefully it comes out I'm gonna hit it again So we just finished the clay bar, clayed the forks as you guys seen. Give you guys a close up on everything. Clayed the lights, the mirror. Uh, so on the tank, this spot looks a little bit better. 
it's still a little faint spot in the paint as well as on the fender as well back here on the spots that I really wanted to get. I look a little bit better though. We're gonna continue to work at it here and there and probably clear it again sometime next year or maybe at the riding season, but it looks a little bit better. You guys can still see that, but uh, the clay is done. So now we're gonna wax it up, polish the chrome, and wrap up the video. Pops over there messing with his bike. Got it out there. He cleaning it up as well, detailing his. Uh, so yeah, spending our Saturdays, detailing our bikes up, getting ready for Daytona and ride season. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and, like I said, get this thing a good wax, polish, and that'll be it. So I'll see you guys here in a second. So for the wax, stand with the chemical guys, butter wet wax. Got my applicator right here. So I'm gonna dab a few lines on here and get the wax in this bike on up, finish on off. All right, so we just finished the wax. I um, think the bike is looking pretty good. Last but not least, we're gonna hit it with this light metal polish for the chrome. And I think that'll do. So we just finished up the entire detail. Not gonna put the bags back on there. I'm gonna pull it into the trail I did. Condition the seat up, condition my baggie up right here with this stuff. Let me show you guys. I like their products right there, but yeah, this is the finished product of the bike. <laughs> 